Okay, now for question 14, part E, uh, from C34, June 2014. It says the point D lies on the line L, so that the area of the triangle CAD um, is twice the area of the triangle CAB. Find the coordinates of the two possible positions of D. Okay, so now CAB, okay, um, is this triangle here. And CAD, okay, CAD has to be twice the area of that. So let's, D lies on the line L. Okay, so D lies along the line L. So let's continue this line on both ways just to... This is the line L which goes through A and B. It goes through the points A and B. Okay, so that's the line L. Okay, this is the line L. It goes through the point A and the point B. Now, the triangle CAD is twice the area of triangle CAB. Okay, now, if you think about it, if we take this, the distance between C and the line L as the vertical height of this triangle, so let's take that distance there as the vertical height of the triangle, okay? Um, so we're going to consider the base as along the line L. Oops, too thick. Okay, so this is like the perpendicular distance. This is like the height of the triangle. And we consider the distance between A and B as the base of the triangle AB. So it's a half times base times height. So we can think about the area of the triangle, the area of ABC, the triangle ABC. Um, or let's call it CAB as they call it. So let's call it the same thing. The area... The, oh, come on. Sorry about that. So the area of uh, CAB, okay, of the triangle CAB, is equal to a half times the base times the vertical height, okay, which is a half times uh, root 24 times the vertical height, okay. Now, if we consider the triangle CAD and D lies along here somewhere, say say D is over here. Okay, how is it going to be that the triangle CAD? Let me draw it with a, another line. How would how would it be that the triangle CAD is going to have twice the the area of CAB? Well, that's going to be if the distance between um, C A to D, the distance between A and D is twice the distance between A and B. So triangle, okay, CAD, okay, we can say, let's just write it out here. The area of triangle, the area of triangle CAD will equal twice the area of triangle CAB if, okay, the base is equal to 2 times root 24. Okay, so if this distance from A to D, if this distance from A to D is 2 times root 24, okay, then you're going to have twice the area. So this distance from A to D, so basically the magnitude of A to D has to be twice the magnitude of A to B. And it can also be on the other direction. So for example, the distance from A to D on this side, okay, will also will also have a triangle CAD, okay, and it will be twice the area of this triangle as long as the distance from A to D is two times root twenty-four. Okay, so as long as that distance is two times root twenty-four, which is twice A to B. So the the point is that the distance from A to D, either this way or that way. Okay, let's call this D1 and call this D2. Okay, so the distance from A to D, either this way or that way, has to be twice Okay, the distance from A to B. So how do I relate this now to get the position of D in terms of its position vector? Let's go back to the beginning of the question. Okay, so we know a few things from the beginning of the question. We know the equation of the line, L. So let's just post that over there first. Okay, so I know the equation of the line L, so I'm just going to put this over here. So there's the equation of the line L. Okay, that's the equation of the line L. 
that we got from the beginning of the question. But we also know something about the points A and B. We know at A, the value of lambda, if you remember, let's go back again, at A, the value of lambda was 1. And at B, the value of lambda was 3. That's, that's going to help us now. That's going to help us in this part of the question. At A, the value of lambda was 1. And at B, the value of lambda is equal to 3. So, for example, here, the value of lambda is 1. This is where lambda is equal to 1. And this is where lambda is equal to 3. Now, I want the distance between here and here to be... For, let's deal with D1 first. I want the distance between here and here to be twice the distance between A to D has to be twice the distance A to B. So what's the distance between A to B in terms of lambda? Okay, in terms of lambda, it's distance of 2. So this, this has to be where lambda is equal to uh, 2 less than 3. Okay, 2 less than, sorry, 2 less than 1. Okay, from 3 to 2 to minus 1. So lambda has to equal minus 1 at D1 and at D2 okay we want the 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 distance from A to B to be twice the distance from A to B so, so the distance from A to B here is 2 so the distance from A to D here has to be 4 so it has to be 4 more than 1 which is going to be 5 okay that way this the distance from A to D in terms of lambda is going to be 4 the distance from A to B in terms of lambda is going to be 2 twice the distance the base of this triangle will be twice as high because the vertical height will be the same it's like the vertical height is the same the distance the difference is the base if the base is twice the area will be twice so from a to b the distance between the lambdas is one so from uh, from a to d it has to also it has to be basically the distance between them has to, so the distance between them is two so from a to d it also it has to be four actually Okay, the distance from, so actually lambda has to equal minus 3, not minus, sorry, that's, that's a mistake there. That has to be f twice as big as that, okay, A to D. So if the distance between here and here is 2, the distance from there and there has to be 4. So you're going from 3 to 1 to minus 3, so that should be lambda equals minus 3. So at, at uh, for D1, so we can say at D1, what we call D1, Lambda is equal to minus 3. And at D2, lambda is equal to 5. Okay, at D2, lambda is equal to 5. So now let's just put those values in and see we, what we get. So we can just say that that means the position vector of one of the places of D is going to be minus 1, uh, minus... 3 which is minus uh, minus sorry minus 1 minus 6 which is minus 7 and you're going to have this remember this is a minus 3 here so minus 4 minus 3 which is also minus 7 and 6 plus uh, 3 times 1 that's going to be 6 plus 9 minus 3 times minus 1 is plus 3 6 plus 3 is 9 minus 7 minus 7 and 9 and the other position of d possible position for that area to be twice is going to be when lambda equals 5. So you have minus 1 plus 10 which is 9 and you have minus 4 plus 5 which is 1 and you have 6 minus 5 which is also 1. So you got minus 7 minus 7 9 and 9 1 1 and those are the two possible position of D such that the area of triangle um, CAB is going to be uh, uh, half of the, the area of the triangle CAD. CAD is twice CAB. And there we have finished that question.